Howdy, my name is Jipeng Lu, an assistant professor in architecture. Today, I'm going to talk about a collaboration of a design research build project with Dr. Carly McCall at Texas A&M Health Science Center. This talk was originally given at the Hero Forum in Portland, Oregon last year. As many of you may have known, the Center for Health System and Design was co-funded by the School of Medicine and the College of Architecture in 1984. Since then, we have promoted many multidisciplinary collaborations, and the one we are going to talk about is just one of them. Before COVID, CHSD fellows usually get together to have casual lunch meeting on each Wednesday at one of the local restaurants. One day, Dr. Carly McCall joined the lunch and talked about the pressing issues of mental health services in Texas and see if the faculty and students at the College of Architecture could help her to realize her dream to develop a world-class telebehavioral health clinic and counselor training center. Carly runs the Texas A&M Telebehavioral Health Counseling Clinic, providing service to mental health patients within and beyond Brazos Valley. Her patients do not have to go to the clinic. Instead, they receive the counseling services through teleconference with the counselors. Carly is envisioning an open office setting with several soundproof booths for the new clinic to promote more interaction between the trainees and professors and at the same time promote psychological well-being for the counselors. So Dr. Kirk Hamilton and myself, both of us at the meeting, thought this would be a great short project for both of our design studios. So we immediately jumped in. And the students first met with Carly at the programming section to identify the project goals and needs. Then we toured Carly's future office space. And this is the current telehealth counseling office. Then the students proposed a preliminary design to Carly and her staff use gaming exercise to help generate better ideas about the space arrangement. After three weeks, during the final review, the student built the full-scale mock-ups at the Health Science Center building, allowing Carly and her staff to go inside and experience that. So this is one of the student's team's mock-up. And this is the proposed space arrangement with the booths in the clinic. And this shows the relationship between the telehealth booths and the open spaces. After the studio project in the summer of 2019, we further prototyped the booth and tested the size and the lighting inside. This is part of the undergrad student research work done by Zach Rowley. Now he's a graduate student in my design studio. Later, Carly got the funding to build a booth and I have been helping to design and supervising the construction. Dave and his student staff at the fabrication lab on the Redlitz campus have been working the whole summer this year to help us to build the booth. There are a lot of design considerations for this small tiny 4x5 booth, including ventilation, soundproofing, video quality, users well-being, causes and flexibility. Flexibility is really important because at least we need to know how to move the booth in or out of the building or in or out of the elevator, right? So now we are so close to finish the first booth and hopefully we can test it in the fall and later Carly's open office concept for her telehealth clinic. So this is a design research build innovation through a multidisciplinary collaboration. To us, the booth or the open office may not be a new idea, but to Carly, mental health professionals and educators, combining architecture, psychology, and telehealth counseling to build a world-class open office clinic and training center is a very novel concept. This has been a very rewarding experience and we are so glad to be a part of that. Thank you.